there are actually two crewed space stations up currently. What? Yes. Of course, you have the International Space Station, mm -hmm. which is kind of the big one um, due to be deorbited uh, seven, eight years from now. Mm -hmm. um, no plan to replace it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, however, China has their own space station. Because they didn't want to be involved with the International Space Station and get complicated with working with other governments. So they have their own space station. They have their own crewed flight people that go up, stay in the space station, come back down. And they just launched their um, uh, a resupply mission. And you know, with their first and only female spacecraft engineer. And it's pretty neat the fact that, um, no, nope, actually, is it launching? Okay, yeah, yeah it looks this, like this it is did a, launch, There's yeah. a previous video. I'm earlier in it. I'm just okay. looking for interesting things. Here's the launch sequence here, Yeah, actually. So. But, but it's, it, it, unfortunately, it's hard to, especially this type, this time of year when there's, other things which are in the news. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get news that talks things about outside the U.S. Yes. If you're in the U.S. or outside, you know, an area. And, I, you know, I still think some people would be shocked to know that there is a space station up there. Mm -hmm. The International Space Station. And there's one that China made. Mm -hmm. And it'd be interesting to see people's reaction if, you know, you go up to... Oh, did you know China launched a supply to its own space station? Where, you know, in the past, it, it is like, well, we have our space station, you have your space station, and what are they doing? And most people are kind of oblivious to things happening up there. Yeah. And it just, to me, it's a positive thing. No, no, you know, it, it is, you know, uh, uh, you know, I, it, it keeps, I keep going back to the uh, for all mankind. Uh, kind of thing mm -hmm. <laughs> it comes together with these things um you know it it, it you know it, it is you know obviously china's kind of a different scenario where um uh, uh you know we were like oh we have to do third-party com com companies in order to you know be able to do our supply missions and things like that and you know well china doesn't have to do it. it's like well you know china they probably didn't have much of a choice uh in, in that environment <laughs> so and they have a more concerted effort for some reason too and, and probably less bureaucracy for it um, that is not a positive necessarily, uh, but maybe in this case, but, uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, and of course you had to go to space.com to get your China news, uh, on what's going on there, but no, I, you know, the, and even, even you can look at it like, oh no, China's doing this, you know, if you are, uh, kind of in the no, you know, they are the enemy kind of mode of things too, but also that hopefully motivates people to do more here too. Uh, so, and, and, yeah. and if this, uh, invigorates, you know, and reminds us that there is a space race going on for whatever is out there, um, you know, maybe that'll light a fire under, uh, a rocket under, uh, uh, others to get some more done here, or, or at least maybe even people that in the government to be, to put behind something like this. Yeah. Well, or, you know, you hear about, like you said, about private industry being mm -hmm. launching SpaceX, um, no one's there's not a lot of private industry trying to develop its own space station. No, just rockets. Uh, right mainly now. because the economics just in commercial, a strict commercial, mm -hmm. 